Chameleon Support Center, Input Settings. This video will guide you through the different input settings for your Chameleon. If no input is set up, the Input tab is marked with a red exclamation mark. Click on the tab to initiate the setup. There are several different input types to choose between, and they all require different settings. This video will guide you through each of them in the following order. ASI, DVB-C, DVB-S, DVB-S2, DVB-T, DVB-T2, and IPTV. Click on the green symbol next to add new input. Then choose input type. No matter which input type is chosen, there are two initial settings that reappear and therefore they will only be mentioned now. You always start by giving an input a name, preferably one that indicates which input type is used. Then you need to choose which port to use. Chameleon allows you to use up to two ASI input types at the same time. When choosing ASI as input type, there are only two settings you need to set up, the name and the physical port. For DVB-C, you need to select the appropriate symbol rate and frequency depending on your cable TV provider. The constellation will be set up automatically once the signal has been plugged in if auto is selected. The setup for DVB-S input requires you to choose an LNB type. Polarization and symbol rate are based on information from your satellite provider. The same yields for the transponder frequency and the information can be found on the websites of Lingsat or King of Sat. The last field, DISAC, is set up only if you need to control a multi-switch. The settings for DVB-S2 are very similar to the ones of DVB-S. The only difference is the additional setup modulation, which should be set on auto. To set up the input for DVB-T, all you need to do is choose the bandwidth and frequency. The setup is basically identical to the one of DVB-T. The only difference is one additional setting, PLP, where you choose automatic. To set up the IPTV input, you first need to define a streaming interface. Click on Manage Interfaces, and then click on Add New Interface, located right below the headline Streaming. Type in a suitable IP address. Note that the IP address should not be identical to the one used when setting up the module in IP Supporter. Then choose a suitable net mask, a gateway, and make sure streaming is turned on. Click on Save and go back to the Input tab. Select the bitrate mode, and then select the routing scheme, a multicast address and port. Click on Save. 